This city bus looks like an ordinary diesel-powered one, but it's all electric. In June, Mannheim put three e-buses into service. They can quickly be recharged at the bus stops. The passengers don't even notice, and the driver can relax. Even with over six million euros invested in it, this model has quite a long way to go to become economically viable. But the project head is hoping that e-buses will eventually become standard. It's still relatively expensive as a research and development project. The costs aren't commercially feasible yet, so it can't be compared with other vehicles. But a few things are in the pipeline concerning the battery, among other things, from which we expect considerable reductions in costs. The e-buses were developed by the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology. This laboratory produces lithium-ion batteries. Electric vehicles, or EVs, need cheaper batteries with longer ranges. But the German manufacturers still lag behind their Asian competitors. Jörg Kaiser worked for a German battery maker for several years, but this year it closed its doors. As things stand now in 2015, it looks as if the Europeans have fallen behind in the development of battery cell technology. In Germany, they realized too late how important lithium-ion cell technology really is and tried to catch up with lots and lots of state-funded projects. But it hasn't been enough. Here, researchers and programmers are working on optimizing the software for electric cars. They collect data on the vehicle's battery charge status and charging process, the first time they've been able to do so in such detail. The project is expected to give electric vehicles a huge boost. The car owners need the data to get a clear picture of the battery status. They've got a destination to reach, so the vehicle has to cover a certain distance. The driver has to know the car will be fully charged the next day. Other parties have an interest in these data as well, for example, rental car companies and motor pool operators. They have a business interest in knowing that cars are available at certain times. The students in Karlsruhe could well be the EV developers of tomorrow. They built this electric race car themselves and entered it in international student championships and the Formula E. This has more to do with perfecting the technology than with pushing the limits of speed. In the Formula Student Engineering competition, and especially the Formula Student Electric, we can test what's possible in electric mobility in the coming years. We have so many sponsors investing in our ideas, who believe in us and in electric cars. Who knows? Maybe we're doing the groundwork so that in one, two or three decades, we'll have more electric cars on German roads. The car heads out onto the track. Only a handful of drivers are allowed to handle it. The car was made of carbon fiber and the motor was custom built. It reaches speeds of 120 kilometers an hour. The students' efforts are showing results. Last year they won a major Formula E race with this electric racer and that's just the beginning. <laughs>